This is a special, very special group that comes from all over the United States, Lifeline. It's a program called Wish at the Wall. We meet the Wish at the Wall 2011 trip as they visit the city of Bnei Brak. They're here to meet worldly renowned Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky and his wife to receive their blessings for health and well being. The Wish at the Wall trips bring to Israel children who would not have this opportunity on their own. We met the previous group at the Western Wall. In that case, it was children who have dealt with cancer. Wish at the wall, it's the wish. It's the, it's the wish that to go to, to the walls, the Kosala Maravi. This year's trip is for teens living with serious chronic and sometimes fatal illnesses. These young men and women are determined to overcome physical limitations and experience all that Israel has to offer. They are accompanied by a parent and High Lifeline's medical staff. It's crazy. Just know where to, I don't know where to start, I don't know where to end. It's just amazing. It's awesome learning about like Judaism, more about Judaism and getting extra credit in school now. And this is an opportunity we gave them of a lifetime because there would be really no other way they were able to, uh, to see, to see Eretz Israel. My son has a chronic illness and if it wasn't for Kai Lifeform we would not be able to come. He's been doing things that I didn't think he could do. I didn't think I'd be able to come here for a long time and it's great to uh, be here. At the hotel, going down and, and touching the wall was the most beautiful thing. I'd rather stay here than, uh, I'd rather stay here than go back to America. I didn't think I was going to like Israel but I really love it. And, yeah, and my family are at home, they're really going to think I'm crazy because I'm, I would never, I mean, I wouldn't move anywhere. It was just a real eye-opener coming here and it, it's just been wonderful and they've done wonderful. Were you ever in Israel? No, first time. Wow. So what did this tour do to you? Um, made me feel closer. Yeah. More, just think about, like, made me think about more stuff, like, on a higher level. After they were received happily at the airport by the staff of the trip, the group set out to a large variety of locations throughout Israel. The old city of Jerusalem, Masada, Ein Gedi, the Knesset, northern Israel, and here in Bnei Brak. Uh, Kanievsky gave brachos to all the boys, and uh, the Rebetzin spoke to, spoke to the girls individually. She gave each of them a kiss and gave them brachos and speaking to the boys. And it's just so touching and meaningful for the, for, for the kids. During the tour, the young boys and girls met soldiers, rabbis, politicians, and other Israelis. Shimi Orbach, one of the kids in the tour, is actually from Israel, but even for him, the opportunity to tour and reach all these special attractions is very unique. Even if I live in Israel, I probably never get to go to these places. A tour like this, what does it do for you? It feels me, it makes me feel like I'm a normal person once again. I'm a normal person. Everyone's got to know that. Everyone's got to know that we are all normal people. Even if we have all these kind of disabilities and we yeah. are in wheelchairs, we are in stretchers, we are in this or that or that, we're normal people. What kind of logistic challenges do you have? The challenges were, were great and it was just a challenge for our counselors and staff. Uh, one very exciting thing, it was just yesterday, we went to Tzfat and some of the boys wanted to go to the, the mikvah of the Ari. Um, and anyone who's been there knows there are hundreds of steps. Um, so we were able to get from uh, Mada, from Magen David Adom, um, uh, stretchers. And a few of the boys actually, we put on stretchers and we carry them down to the mikvah. For some, it was the first time in their lives they were in a mikvah, and these are Hasidic boys. So this was particularly uh, of amazing experience for them. We're very grateful to Hartman Family Foundation for uh, sponsoring this trip along with all the donors in uh, High Lifeline Midwest in the Chicago area.